Over the past few decades, mining has contributed to millions of hectares of land degradation worldwide. Today, the scale of mining activities is greater than ever, but so are its environmental and social impacts. Open pit mining transforms productive landscapes into ruined wastelands, with disastrous consequences for biodiversity, climate, water and soil resources, and the livelihoods and health of local people. Yet this is a solvable problem. The World Agroforestry Centre, the World Resources Institute and the Kunming Institute of Botany have developed and tested a complete set of restoration technologies and planning tools which can return mining sites to full ecological functioning and productivity. We have developed new methods of turning waste products from agriculture, industry, forestry and timber processing into high quality seedling substrates. We then use advanced root and seedling production methods to develop denser, more fibrous root mass that enables trees to take up essential elements, sustain faster growth and achieve higher survival rates in harsh environments. Species selection is carried out using the world-class gene bank and genetic resource collections at the Kunming Institute of Botany and the World Agroforestry Centre's head offices in Nairobi. These are combined with vegetation mapping and climate scenarios in order to select native species which can quickly and effectively restore degraded land. These species are often themselves endangered and their use can both safeguard biodiversity and enhance the livelihoods of local people. The use of cutting-edge technologies such as near-infrared spectrometry allows us to conduct detailed analyses of the health and properties of degraded land. This allows us to determine which techniques are best suited for each location, to carry out quality testing of all products produced from restored lands, and to monitor the health of the landscape before, during and after restoration. Decision analysis tools and holistic business plans are integrated into the restoration planning process in order to ensure that restoration investment and outcomes are economically beneficial for all stakeholders. We're working together with a range of partners, including governments, non-governmental organisations, the private sector, researchers and local communities, all of whom work in partnership in order to secure better restoration outcomes. Eco-friendly income generating activities, such as mushroom and medicinal plant cultivation, are integrated into restoration plans in order to provide local communities with ways to improve their livelihoods. Applying these methods can deliver a wide variety of benefits. Local communities can sustainably harvest resources from restored lands. Governments are better able to balance economic growth and environmental protection. Mining companies can use proven technologies to achieve restoration commitments and enhance their reputations. And vital ecological services such as biodiversity, carbon sequestration and flood prevention are protected. As mining operations expand to provide the global economy with raw materials, there is an increasingly urgent need for an international initiative which can scale up and apply a comprehensive approach to mining restoration. We therefore propose the establishment of a global centre of excellence for mining restoration. The centre will coordinate a network of institutions with expertise in restoration science, agroforestry, community participation and policy analysis. It will implement restoration projects in selected developing countries and it will work with a range of stakeholders to develop effective policies and practices on the ground. This could kickstart a new wave of restoration around the world, not only of mining sites, but wherever human activities have damaged our planet.